Hello, it's Steve White, Steve Arts 89. Well, I finally got Moss Man. Now, Moss Man has always been one of my favourite characters, and when I heard they were doing a Moss Man and they were going to a flocked, scented Moss Man, I was like, yes! And then I found out it was an exclusive to Target or something, or Walmart or something. I'm like, oh, for... okay, I'll get it eventually. Um, now, it was going very, ex you know, for a very expensive price for a while, but then there seemed to be a lot of them around, and people have been complaining about their, their um, Walmarts or whatever, have, or Targets, or someone has a bunch of them. They're sitting on the shelves. And then I started to see them more regularly on eBay, and there are actually quite a lot at the moment. So I'm guessing the price is going to go down soon, so I probably shouldn't have bought it. But I did get it for $20 off. Um, so I'm pretty happy about it, because I just didn't want to wait anymore. Yeah, maybe I could get it for $50 or something. I don't know. But um, it was starting off around a hundred dollars before so here he is with his artwork and got, oh god that dinosaur on the side and well, nothing on the side there and the back one big piece I kind of like it when they just have the art on the f side because they tend to do more it tends to be more of a panorama whereas when they do the this this um, portrait size they tend to just have a the character's kind of big and just not as much is happening in them. But it still looks awesome. But, um, okay, let's open him up. And, oh, okay. The art is actually continuing all the way around. Oh, that's good, because when you fold it out and fold the box up, you see the art all the way around. That's so much nicer. Okay. Because I do keep them, uh, I flatten them out, and I just have them like big cards um, in a box, in my Castle Grayskull box, basically, so I can just pull the tray out of that's that's sitting in there and it's just full of um master universe boxes okay so but what i do hate is the red and blue backgrounds why couldn't they do green for him or just some basic art like you know a forest or something because yeah especially when you take the characters out the boxes look really bad just the plain colors but yeah so here we have him he's got this weapon which i know started off with someone else because the original had uh, brown one of these um, so this is the same as just a huge <laughs> I think it was made for buzz off because it's got that um, big enough to get the claw through there um, he's got an extra hand an extra head I'm really disappointed though to see that the extra head which I think is oh my God, does not want to come out I think it's the um the earlier beast man they did the um lord of power lords of power one or whatever it was but he's not flocked I'm like what it's not going to work on him um he comes with the yellow beast man armor because people seem to think that should go on moss man which never occurred to me when I had it all the years that I had it because I had a I had the armor first and then I had a be um a beast man and I didn't have the red armor so for years he wore the yellow one but um Get the hand out for you. Oh, they're really in there tight, aren't they? Oh, staying fine. I just want to get him out. And smell him. What? He's not scented. That's not what I think of when I smell a pine. He doesn't smell like the original. But the flocking is really nice, actually. Um, yeah, it's really nice. It's longer than I thought. I thought it would just be more like little dots. <laughs> but um, he looks great, actually. Oh, he feels great. He feels so soft. <laughs> oh, and his little feet. Oh, he's so cute. He's one of my favourites. Ah! It's bent. But, um... Yeah, I'm so glad he came with his own comic, because I didn't realise he did. I assumed I was going to get one of the comics that the other figures have. So let's have a look at that. Poison from the Stars. And it's your usual six-page affair. And, okay, it's just the Master Universe back doesn't have the actual figures. Often a lot of them do that. Okay. So, yeah... So when you flatten that out, that looks much nicer with those little extra panels there. I'm glad they did that. Because I've been just flipping them under and just it's annoying. Now this hand. There we go. 
Uh, do I put this on? Uh, I may as well. <laughs> See, when I look at this, I just think of Beast Man because my Beast Man had the yellow one. But I guess if your Beast Man always had the red one, you could put this on him and feel like it's his armor. But I just feel like he's wearing Beast Man's armor. And I don't want to, actually, you know what? I don't want to wear the flocking off. So, yeah, this is going to be for a still. <laughs> and that's it. Um, yeah, I feel so nice. Um, because the original, I don't know what he, I don't remember what he felt like when I first got him. But this is my, um, original. He has survived. His legs still stand. But something chewed his foot off. Which is why I was happy to see this one has nice round feet, not toes missing. Um, but yeah. He looks so bright and green and soft. This one feels... This is the problem when you get the new ones. It makes the old ones feel really, really old. But I have affection for this. I think I like this because I think my mum liked this figure the most, partly because she kept encountering him in her um, pot plants. But um, yeah, he looks great. The new one looks amazing. <laughs> I can't get over how soft it is and how bright it is compared to the original, but... I don't, that doesn't smell like pine to me. It smells like um, Origins plastic with a little bit of something. <laughs> but I'm going to go. Bye.